All right, this was also alluded to earlier. Um, recently, a bus stop on 73rd Street was removed and replaced with several uh, metered parking spaces. Uh, what do each of you think of this action, and how do such actions affect the community? I was supportive of the removal of that bus, and according that stop, there is one on 35th Avenue, and there's one on 30 on 37th Road. That bus stop caused more incredible congestion than anything else. People trying to get out, the buses couldn't move. There was double parking. The flow on 73rd, by DOT reports, has moved far better than it did when there was that bus stop. Nobody likes to take away bus stops. Some people may shake their heads, but the fact of the matter is it moves a lot better than it did before, and the congestion is still there. Uh, the bus stop, I don't think, will be put back because it has worked. It has done exactly what DOT has wanted it to do, was to ease the congestion on 73rd Street. Because 73rd Street has its own congestion problems, and it has other problems that is separate and apart from 74th Street. I think everyone needs to know and remember and think. Nobody wants to take away what is right for the community. It's a mistake to think that. But what is important is to weigh what is right to keep and what is right to remove and look at the effects of that. And the study has been and the watching of DOT on that street have told me that they have found they have had Fewer complaints, and it works. Some people don't like to walk the block. They also found that that stop was used very, very infrequently because people were going to the subway or they were going to 37th Road. So we must do what is right for the community as a whole. And I must correct something for my opponent because, once again, he shows he doesn't know anything about government. The fact of the matter is that for Travis Park, and I see here that you have Ed Wesley, who was at that meeting. The Travis Park 1.7 renovation was brought to Community Board 3, and it was brought to public. So you stand corrected on that. I, I, in that particular subject, I don't know the DOT study, but she, is, uh, she have more privy to DOT study because she was sitting on the board, and I cannot say how was the study done. How, was, how do they find the answers? I don't know. But basically, congestion is a problem in our district anyway. How do we solve this problem instead of blaming each other? The thing is that I was telling you that uh, at least uh, maybe once a week in summertime, we close that 34th Avenue from 69 to 89th Street, and people can run and healthy, more healthy, number one. Number two, the 73rd, 74th, and 37th Avenue, especially Saturday and Sunday, make it as a, it's like a, a shopping mall without top. In other words, cut all the police. We have to help with the police. We have to stop the neighbor, uh, the cars coming to that particular neighborhood. La at least people can go and do the shopping, have a lot of fun there. And I, has to, I, cre I propose an open-air mall. But that 37, 73rd, 74th, and 37, up to 76th Street, and you make it as and the, let the let the traffic deviate on at least Saturday and Sunday. So we will have at least a pleasurable time, summertime, but not like this summer because every Sunday and Saturday there is raining. So the mall don't work sometimes. <laughs> but but hopefully the rain won't go away. Uh, this thing work. The bus stop, I agree with her. She is uh, privy to the DOT uh, study. Uh, I agree with that, that, that 73rd Street bus is not a good idea. Um, I, I feel that the removal of the uh, bus stop there was unfortunate, especially because parking meters were put in in place of the bus stop. And I think that that actually has caused more congestion there. I don't know where you're getting your figures from, but I know that there's a lot of people in this room right here and now who live on 73rd Street, and if you were to ask them if, they're, if the congestion along 73rd Street is any less than what it was, I think they would tend to disagree with you. The horn honking, the congestion, and everything that goes on there is still just as horrible as it's ever been. Um, and, um, you know, 
The other problem, I think, with 73rd Street is that you have one part of 73rd Street on the other side of Roosevelt Avenue that goes north, and you have the part on this side that goes south, and the cars, you know, kind of collide with each other, not literally, but um, in the, the going in, the, you know, they're hitting each other, going in opposite directions there. And I think that's one thing that should be changed as well. I think the other thing you could do with 73rd Street is to change the bus route and move that bus route to go down by Broadway and loop around the other way around. That might also be a solution. Some of these things we've offered and we've suggested to the incumbent council member, but never, none of them were acted upon. And in regards to the $1.7 million with uh, Travers Park, um, I don't really stand to be corrected because you never did have a meeting with the Friends of Travers Park, which is the most important stakeholders in the park. And I think that's something that really needs to be put out there. It's not, a, <laughs> it's, it's not a fight, it's actually correcting something, because the friends of Travis Park were in my office, Lenny Maniachi and the rest, with the Parks Department and Community Board 3. So you stand to be corrected, and I think when you state facts, which you have a habit of lying, you should stop that. Because it's deceiving, it's deceiving to you, because he just said an untruth. I'm you, Alan. There you go. Shame. 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 I'd like to see this. I'd like to see they fight each other. You know, the funny thing is, the, 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 the funny thing is, the funny thing is that when she ran two times, my own, my best friend, Danny, supported her wholeheartedly. Let them fight. I like that. That's not true either. I supported Jimmy Van Bremer the first time around, and Helen knows that as well. Um, I won't even dignify that comment made by the council member because I think it's really totally inappropriate. And I think we can have reasonable disagreements with each other about the facts and not be called a liar. And I think that's one of the problems with this administration. And that's why I think it's time to change. We don't need this type of destructive politics any longer in this neighborhood. We need somebody who can bring people together, not separate people.